from the Wall Street Journal, how do two townhouses become one seventy-five million mansion? It's like a puzzle. This is a good article for understanding a bit more about high-end residential real estate and really how it's basically commercial real estate in terms of the work, the capital, the investments, the project management involved in a project like this. To begin, on a recent winter morning, workers were excavating 30 feet below the ground in New York's Greenwich Village, where real estate developer Robert Kellner of Round Square Builders plans to build a new 42-foot wide townhouse. Round Square paid just over $18 million combined for neighboring walk-ups in 2021 and 2022, with plans to demolish the century-old buildings and create a singular luxury residence in their place before we see some before and after shots here. Building in New York City isn't a simple feat before pouring the foundation. Kellner's team, including sons Jared and Justin, had to make its way through a roughly year-long design, approval, and permitting process, followed by a carefully orchestrated demolition. That year-long process is genuinely called entitlement and can be a major part of the success or failure of an investment project such as this. Now a swanky neighborhood filled with celebrities and business titans, Greenwich Village was the hub for artists and intellectuals as recently as half a century ago. In the 1970s, 70s, John Lennon lived at 105 Bank Street, according to Don Flores' memoir, Growing Up Bank Street. Roundscare bought 105 and 107 Bank Street in separate off-market deals and then engaged Robert A.M. Stern Architects to bring its vision to life. Quote, the color of your windows, Munden profiles on the windows, what the guardrail looks like, the lights you use, the cornice details, those are all scrutinized, said Ramses Brad and Nutvini, who worked with Kate Ferris and others. He said the final design is a composite of Ramses' vision and LPC's requirements and input. It's like a puzzle, he said. Working with government bodies, especially in a location like this, can be, sometimes be difficult, but is critical to the success of a project. On Bank Street, Novotny said LPC wanted a penthouse addition to be distinct and stylistically different from the rest of the house. The agency also wanted to be minimally visible from the street. The revised plans were approved in September 2022, and that coincided with the start of soft demolition with the removal of interior walls, stone, tile, wood flooring, without the altering the structure of the building. Next milestone was in March 2023 when a permit was issued that paved the way for the heavier construction. An excavation began in August. Plans call for roughly 13,000 square foot residence that is 42 feet wide and 100 feet deep with roughly 3,500 square foot basement that'll house a gym, theater, and wine cellar. To maximize the livable space below grade, workers installed underpins beneath the neighbor's foundations. This process involves digging under the adjacent building or removing soil below the foundation and filling in the gap with concrete. With the underpins and piles done, Round Square started the structural demolition in December 2023. Quote, the big reveal, as Robert Collner called it, came late that month when workers took down the wall between the two buildings and removed the exterior back wall. So this was pretty much a full demolition and a full construction project. Quote, the only thing that stays is the facade, Justin Callender said recently when a wall of brick was the only thing separating the sidewalk on Bank Street from a leveled backyard. He anticipated pouring foundation in the weeks, followed by the installation of steel columns, metal floor joists, and windows over the next few months. Quote, then we'll have an enclosed building and an interior project at that point. We'll go from the bottom and work our way up, end quote. So again, this is just a, a good article demonstrating at the high-end luxury market, just the amount of capital involved, the amount of planning projects, and the amount of project management and construction that can go into creating a high-end luxury real estate project. Hey, if you enjoyed this article, you can check out the full article on the Wall Street Journal and give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't, subscribe already. Thanks a lot.